Hi there. This is going to be a weird video. We're taking a look at a sledgehammer from Parkside aka Lidl and Kaufland. So, moving into a house instead of an apartment kind of presented the need for something uh, like this. And uh, honestly, they are quite expensive, more expensive than I would expect and uh, many times really bad quality and I really don't want something like this uh, breaking uh, on me or uh, something like that because yeah, you can get injured quite easily. This thing seems to be really sturdy, rubber grip right here at the end. This is really long, let me actually measure it. So, more or less, almost 80 centimeters long. I think that's good enough. If you want to see more info, it seems to be made in Germany. Let's remove this thingy. There were a few variants, but I wanted to get this one with the chisel end on one side and this on the other side, because uh, it's better, in my opinion, to have both variants instead of one that actually has this mirrored also on the other side. It just made more sense to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, anyway, there's that. If you want to see more info right here. Baros. <laughs> yeah, anyway, some weird protection in here. I think it's a plastic, honestly. Not really sure what's up with that, but yeah, let me check what the orientation of the text is in here. Ah, it's just the standard DIN 1042 and 4 kilograms. That's good. What else do we have here? A bit of info. So yeah, do not uh, use uh, this to hit another one. Uh, why? Maybe metal on metal could cause chips to break away. I've seen that happen. Not funny. Anyway, there's that. Use protection boots and uh, goggles uh, or protection glasses or whatever you want to call them. Again, probably because chips could fly out of this and you do not want that. This end seems to be potted. So, there's that. There was something here, mm, that's weird, <laughs> don't know what was uh, in there. So uh, yeah, we'll be put, uh, putting this to good use around the house and hopefully no issues occur with it. And what I also think I will do, drill a hole in here to have this hanging on uh, onto something, although 4 kilograms. Hmm. Maybe it's just enough that it can stay like this and I will put it somewhere like that. And a good while later, this thing has been put to use. We needed to hammer down into the ground. Uh, how many? I think uh, three about this big pipes for almost 1.5 meters each. So it wasn't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing works like a champ, uh, it's easy on the hands, so absolutely no problems. Your hand is not slipping on this black rubber, it's really nice. I once literally missed and hit uh, the pipe with this thing, as you can see, did not shatter, nothing happened to it, just a little mark. So yeah, this is a beast and doing perfectly well and I'm glad I bought it. Good to have around for uh, really hard uh, and tough jobs. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one. Bye!